and everybody eats it. Like Kyle said, I just ate a $2.4 million one. So that proves that every class is eating these, okay? I'm smoking on grapes. I put on for my seat. There's no way you can hang. And the money's so sweet, I'll be calling it K. With the emperor status, they screaming K9. They be knocking my hustle, I stay on my ground. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back in the video, you guys. And today we're going to be eating the world's most expensive peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It costs over $2.4 million to have this sandwich. But thankful today, we don't have to pay that much for it because we have it free. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be taste testing it and see exactly how it tastes. And, you know, going over a little bit of, you know, information on how the peanut butter and jelly sandwich was even made in the first place. Okay? And who even invented it, right? Because that, that thing did just pop out of nowhere. All, all I know is, you know what I'm saying? I woke up one day, my mom was like, hey, you want a sandwich and it has some peanut butter and jelly on it? I was like, mm, this tastes good. And then, yeah, that's all I, that's all I knew about it until today. So we're going to be going over a little bit of information about where it came from, who started it, and what's the whole purpose of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? So let's hop right into it. All right, you guys. So we have this sandwich right here. This costs $2.4 million, okay? And um, as you can see, this isn't a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is actually a peanut butter and jelly sandwich delight. It has the um, cinnamon coating around the outside with a little bit of flakes and um, granola as well to add a little spice to it. I'm not really sure if it's actually part of the actual sandwich or just part of the actual just, you know, presentation. But to get into the actual sandwich, we have some very crisp bread, okay? This isn't just no normal bread that you just throw peanut butter jelly on. Like this, this has been through a process, okay? So it has been toasted. You got you some really good jelly on here. Some some Concord grape jelly, okay, okay? This ain't just regular grape jelly. This is Concord grape jelly, all right? As you can kind of see, there's peanuts inside this peanut butter because this wouldn't be the most expensive peanut butter if it didn't actually have real peanuts in it, right? So it's crunchy peanut butter with actual peanuts in it, all right? Now keep in mind, you guys, this peanut butter jelly sandwich is something extremely healthy to eat. Like if you're a bodybuilder or you want to gain weight, you should be eating these before your workout every single day. That's one of the main reasons why I made this video, actually, is to inspire you to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because you're supposed to be eating these anyways, boy. But anyways, back to the video. Um, this right here, you guys, it costs $2.4 million, okay? And I'm gonna be trying it to see if it actually tastes the way it costs. And um, the chef that made this was actually a chef that's been making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for over 13 years. And so I think that somebody who's been making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for over 13 years is definitely an expert. So anything that you buy from an expert costs a lot of money. You know what I mean? Because if you wanted to go get a meal from Gordon Ramsay, who's been cooking for like 13, 20 plus years, right? It costs a lot of money. So the chef that made this had been making these sandwiches for over 13 years. So that's why that's part of the reason why this costs so much money, okay? But um, we're gonna hop right into it and taste and taste it. You know what I mean? Mmm. I'm not sure if y'all can hear it, but the crunch on this is amazing. And I think I, I even taste some of cinnamon on it. So that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna go on and finish this whole thing because this is so good. This definitely tastes like $2.4 million. Mm. Now, the actual honest question is, would I pay $2.4 million for this sandwich? Honestly, no. Because I can just make one at home. But for what it's worth, though, it's definitely sticking up to, you know what I'm saying? Mm, hold on. One thing, one thing that I also noticed, you guys, is the way that the chef cut this is it's straight. Like, see how clean of a cut that is? So just everything down to the detail, the actual taste, it's not too sweet and it's not too um, salty. So I can tell that they didn't put too much of neither the peanut butter or the, or the jelly. It's just perfect. Like. I would open open it up, but I don't want to um, ruin the actual art here. Okay, like add, like as you guys can see, like man, that is amazing. Wow. Mm. This is so good. And then we still got the presentation here. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat these, but I'm gonna eat some. Yeah. 
not too too bad, but I've never had a peanut butter jelly sandwich with flakes on it, okay? So I'm not gonna do that no more. I'm gonna just stick to the actual sandwich. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if you guys can, can tell, but a lot of people don't like the actual crust on like these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but the way that the chef made it is so, this part is crispy, but the crust is still soft and nice. Like, see that? It's still soft. While wow, this is crispy. Like, I don't know how. That's why this cost $2.4 million, million. Like, I don't know how they did that. <clears throat> mm. It's good, though. I would definitely recommend this. If you can afford it, I would definitely recommend buying one, okay? Mmm. That's so good. All right, mm. <clears throat> so since we just demolished that sandwich, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since we just demolished that sandwich, we're gonna now talk about a little bit of the history of where the peanut butter jelly sandwich even came from, okay? So about a thousand years ago, or wait, it was 1901, so was it a thousand years or? I'm not sure, but it was 1901, okay? A long time ago. Some girl named Julia Davis something, all right? She was all like, I'm a sci like, she was a food scientist. I, I didn't know that those things even, even existed back then, but she was a bio food scientist majigger, right? Stick with me. And I guess they were experimenting, mixing foods together and everything. And then she decided to get some apple jelly because they didn't have grape jelly back then because like how I said, that Concord grape jelly is top notch. So they had some apple jam, right? And then she mixed it with some peanut butter, right? And then um, she she put it on, on bread or whatever, and she put it together. And then that was the day that the first peanut butter and jelly sandwich was made. And this was out there in Boston somewhere. So this was freaking amazing, man. So she put that bad boy together and they actually tried it. So they actually ate it right then and there. Now, this is an experiment. Nobody even knew what would come after this first bite. They never knew that the peanut butter jelly, that the peanut butter and jelly sandwich will become a normal household food item for everyone in America. Rich, poor, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eats it. Like I said, I didn't eat a $2.4 million one. So that proves that every class is eating these, okay? Um, they never knew that, but that's what ended up happening. So it was amazing, you guys. Um, I would definitely recommend that you go check out more history on the peanut butter jelly sandwich. And um, honest, honestly, 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 though, this is a big old ad, you know what I'm saying? Just to tell you guys that you should be eating your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every single day because that's one efficient way to make sure you gain muscle, you guys, because it's super simple. Like how I said, all you have to do is just put some peanut butter on some bread, put some jelly on the other side, and you, you have to be a good source of um, healthy fats, carbs, and sugars. You know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, and protein. What the heck? Oh!